exalting God in the way you live, exalting God in, in the decisions that you make, exalting God in the relationships that you have, exalting God in the vision and the purpose and the direction of your leadership. I just went to you. That means you're invited to church on Sunday. The only limit that you have is your ability to receive. Only God could take something old and turn it into something new. You need the pep talk from Pastor Lindsay. You can do it. Come on, man. We're going to live for God. It's going to be amazing. You hang 10 toes off the front of your board. And I'm centered on Christ, even though my situation is not. We're in for a ride. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome, finally, to episode 25 of the Wayne Feeds podcast. We finally moved from Wirecast, from my old SD set setup to our HD setup here in the studio, and still working out some of the bugs here on Wirecast, but glad you're joining me here today. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Campbell Chiropractic of Castle Rock. Whether you're searching for back pain relief, alternative treatments, or holistic chiropractic care, we have you covered. Here at Campbell Chiropractic, we specialize in a gentle chiropractic adjustment that are ideal for patients with sensitivity concerns. One method that they've utilized is the gentle spinal alignments <clears throat> referred to as prone diversified technique. However, some of our patients request an even gentler spine adjustment. In this case, we recommend the activator method, which is also available for chiropractic care at Campbell Chiropractic. There are times when you need a specialized service beyond the use of chiropractic care. For your convenience, we offer a variety of advanced chiropractic services. If you want to improve your health, your well-being, ask for information pertaining to our on-site nutritional counseling. Through dietary guidance, we'll evaluate your nutritional needs, develop a personal meal and supplement plan. Visit CastleRockChiro.com. That's CastleRockChiro.com or call Campbell Chiropractic at 303-622-5535. And today is also brought to you by Summit Church of Castle Rock, of which I'm the pastor. I'm excited. We're starting a new Christmas series this coming Sunday, and it is the Christmas season. We have Thanksgiving behind us now, and good things are on the way. So, here we go. So today in the news, or rapidly this week in the news, there's been a lot of controversy about Donald Trump as per normal. The, um, the, the Senate uh, just decided to um, forego the, I guess, the protection of the Mueller um, investigation. And I want you to see this quick uh, floor debate between Senator Flake and McConnell. So it's an interesting thing. I'll see you here on the other side. Senator from Arizona. I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of cal calendar number 393, S2644. I further ask that the committee report substitute agreement be agreed to, the bill as amended be considered read a third time and passed, and that the motions to consider reconsider be made and laid upon the table. Is there objection? Object. Majority Leader, Object. objection is heard. All right, so the protection of the Mueller investigation by the Senate did not pass, didn't even see the light of day. And uh, I think it's interesting that it's uh, Senator Flake who obviously um, gave way too much uh, credibility to the uh, Kavanaugh hearings, who really is probably what we'd call a rhino, a Republican in name only. Um, so we're gonna. This is this is kind of the normal, the new normal, I think, in the Senate and the House and the presidency for the next two years before we see the 2020 presidential election. Uh, it's going to be a house divided, and so all the more that we Christians need to be praying for our country, praying for our president, praying for this the Senate, pray for the House, pray that they can finally grow up and work together and get some legislation done that will actually help the country rather than being steeped in all this controversy constantly. So that's my prayer for my country, and I hope, I hope that's your prayer for our country as well. And uh, it's time for daily motivation and inspiration. 
All right, today's daily motivation and inspiration comes from the One Year Bible as per normal. And we're looking at uh, for November 30th in 1 John 1, 1 through 10. It's kind of interesting. I love 1 John because 1 John talks all about the love of God and about how God's love transforms our hearts. And if you don't have the love of God, you, got, you don't even have God because God is love. But uh, this, is, this is in chapter 1 talking about that we we proclaim Christ in verse 5 he says first uh, John chapter 1 verse 5 this is the message that we heard from Jesus and now declare to you God is light and there is no darkness in him at all so we're lying if we say that we have fellowship with God but go on living in spiritual darkness we're not practicing the truth and then the highlighted verse in today's reading but if we are living in the light as God is in the light then we have fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Man, there's a lot of hope in that. That, that no, you cannot out sin God's grace. Even when we are not faithful, he remains faithful. And I, so I hope you'll keep on clinging to Christ. And of course, this Christmas season, you can't have Christmas without Christ, without Jesus Christ. The whole point of the season of giving and togetherness and gift giving is it's a reminder that God so loved us that he gave his very best gift he gave his son Jesus and so I'll talk a little bit more about that later because that's what I'm going to be preaching about for the next several weeks as we lead up to Christmas time so it's time for the song of the day <laughs> Right, the song of the day today is a kind of a new hill song Christmas song you know most Christmas songs are ancient they go back hundreds of years but uh, this is a new one out of Australia it's called born in the king born is the king it's Christmas so if you know it sing along if you're in the car crank it up all right <laughs> Born unto us this day, the Savior. Gifted from heaven to a manger The hope of the world of light for all mankind All of the earth rejoice It's Christmas time So lift up your voice and sing out His praise it's Christmas, born is the king, rejoice in the day. It's Christmas, make a joyful sound. It's Christmas, let his praise resound. It's Christmas, do 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 Goodwill to all the earth and peace divine. The earth rejoice, it's Christmas time. So lift up your voice and sing out his praise. It's Christmas, born is the king, rejoice in the day. It's Christmas, make a joyful sound. It's Christmas, let his praise raise out. Yeah, lift up your voice and sing out his praise. It's Christmas, born is the king, rejoice in the day. It's Christmas, make a joyful sound. It's Christmas, let his praise raise out. It's Christmas, do 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 Sing out his praise It's Christmas 
Christmas Born is the king, rejoice in the day It's Christmas, let your praise resound It's Christmas, make a joyful sound It's Christmas Alright, well I hope you're as excited about Christmas as I am I put up the tree last night I Every year I do a gingerbread house or a gingerbread church or a gingerbread castle um, Three years, two years ago, I made the St. Stephen's Cathedral with colored M&Ms as the roof tiles. Last year, I did the Sydney Opera House all in gingerbread with these like crazy shapes. And this year, this year, I am making the Kremlin. So it's a, it's going to be a red gingerbread uh, castle with towers and chocolate spires and a little uh, shirtless. Um, Vladimir Putin shaking hands with Donald Trump. It's going to be really, really fun. So anyway, I'm looking forward to Christmas. I hope you're looking forward to it too. There's a lot of great things about it. It's family. It's togetherness. It's remembering what Christmas is all about. All right, let's talk. Let's go a little deeper here, everybody. <laughs> So as we looked at that passage today from 1 John chapter 1 verse, uh, verses 5 and up to 13, I want to look at the same passage in the Maxwell Leadership Bible and just talk a little bit about the law of solid ground. Now John Maxwell talks about leadership a lot, but you know, if you're going to lead anybody else, you first have to lead yourself. And here's what he says about the law of solid ground. Our words and our action need to, to match up. So if you say you're a Christian, you should act like a Christian, right? We need to walk the walk, talk the talk, talk the talk, walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? So here's what he says about this particular passage. Leaders must value the truth more than anything else. John describes four lies that we often tell ourselves. Have you told yourself one of these four lies? Number one, we say we have fellowship with him, but we walk in darkness. See, a lot of people want to be affiliated with Christianity, to be affiliated with Jesus, to be affiliated with even with the teachings of the church, but they don't necessarily want to live out the discipleship walk, the discipleship path that Jesus demanded. He said, if anyone would come after me, he must first pick up his cross and follow me. He said, if anyone wants to be great in the kingdom of God, he first needs to be a servant of others. Well, that rubs us the wrong way, doesn't it? That, that goes against American culture, certainly. So we need to begin to follow in the footsteps of Jesus and be true disciples, especially if we're going to lead someone else. Number two, we say we have no sin and we deceive ourselves. See, a lot of people, they want to say, well, that's not a sin to me, or I don't believe that's a sin. They'll discount a whole lot of commands that God has already said are sins in the Bible. And uh, we're deceiving ourselves because God doesn't change the standard. It doesn't, he doesn't grade on the curve. Uh, right is right and wrong is wrong. And we have to live according to his standard. Number three, when we say we know him, but we do not keep his commandments. Oh yeah, I know God. Well, maybe you know about God. But do you really, are you walking in a daily friendship with the Lord Jesus? Do you have the Holy Spirit filling your heart, guiding your steps, taking you where he wants you to go? Number four, we say we're in the light, but we hate our brothers and sisters in Christ. He, he said, you, you can't, how in the world can you love a God that you can't see if you don't love the brother who you can see? So when we lie to ourselves, our words and our lives don't line up and people lose confidence in our leadership. Only when we tell the truth do people truly trust us. And the truth is, if you're lying to yourself, you might be in a place where you don't even feel like you can trust yourself. And so you need to bring your beliefs and your behavior into alignment. Bring your actions and your words into alignment, especially at Christmas time, because we're representing Christ. We're represent, representing the kingdom of God to a world who's, who knows that there's something special about Christmas. They're not sure exactly what it is, but they know there's something different about this time of year. And there's something different about the nature of how people treat each other. And they want to get in on it. And so we need to learn to do Christmas the right way. You know what's a big, big deal about Christmas and Thanksgiving is this. I think it's, it's coming to the table with gratitude, being thankful for what you have and not 
always grasping for the next thing or more and more and more and more. And th that consumeristic mindset in America is just killing us in this day and age. I found this great viral video from Forest Hill Church and it, it, it shows this man who wakes up in the morning and he's suddenly grateful for all the gifts that God has given. Even the simple gifts like waking up and having a wife and children and a job and all these other things. I want you to see it's a really funny video and yet it has a very powerful message. Check it out. <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Christine, you're here too. Mm -hmm. I love you. I know. Dad, what's happening? Uh, honey, the power works. It's coming. It goes on and off. Whatever we want. <laughs> We've got clean water. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Ooh. I bet I know what this does. Rain down the glorious water! Ah, shoes. Oh, what do we got here, guys? Food! Mm, I love food. What? Is it a beef thing? Do you not have work? This is awesome! Look, listen here. Steve, the what? Jack, be careful! Oh, I have a car! Did you guys see this? Yeah, you have a car! Oh, a car! <laughs> and don't forget your coffee! You're the best. All right, so this Christmas, let's be grateful for all the gifts that we've been given, even the simple gifts, the things that we overlook day after day, like a running car or a fridge with food in it or running water, all those things are so great. I wanna challenge you, especially if you're a member of my church or if you're just going to a church somewhere in your area, I want you to be praying between now and New Year's about how you're gonna grow in 2019. See, most of us, we don't live with uh, much intentionality a lot of the problems that we have spiritually come because we refuse to grow up. I know some people who become Christians and then they start reading their Bible voraciously. They start going to prayer meetings, start serving the ministry, they start tithing, they start um, doing incredible things and they grow, grow, grow. And at the same time, I know of many Christians who commit their lives to Christ and then they stagnate. They never change. They live in the past. They say, oh, weren't the old days better? Well, God is doing a new thing all the time. We have to begin to say, okay, God, what are you doing now? What do you want to do in my life this year? How can I grow from this time to next time next year? How can I be stronger? How can I be better? How can I know you more? How can I share my faith with lost family members and friends? And so in my church, if you're a member of Summit Church, I want you to grab one of these over these next several Sundays. It's called My Commitment for 2019. I want you to be thinking and praying about how you dis are gonna, going to grow between January 2019 and January of 2020. Can you believe we're talking about 2020 already? But there's several areas where you can grow in your discipleship through study and fellowship and care in a small group. You do a regular personal prayer and Bible study time in your life. Maybe you're not having a, a devotional time with God every day. Maybe there's not a, a moment where you shut everything down and read the Bible and pray and give your day to the Lord. Maybe there's a place of ministry that you're not serving, but there's you have gifts and talents and abilities, and God wants to use those gifts, talents, and abilities to serve people in the body of Christ and to serve people outside the four walls of church. Have you shared your faith with anyone? Does anyone even know you're a believer? Does your family know that you believe in Jesus? The people that, you, that are around you in the neighborhood or in your workplace, have you ever shared Christ with anyone? Well, who would you share Christ with if you were so bold as to think about who might need Jesus in your life? And then financially, what are you gonna do in the kingdom? Are you, what, are you gonna tithe? Are you gonna give towards missions? Are you gonna do the building fund? Are you gonna be a part of some kind of kingdom activation? Are you gonna put your money where your mouth is when it comes to your spirituality? Because otherwise it's just a lot of talk with not much action. And so it's so important that you strategically think about your life 
this next year? How are you going to grow? And then put it, put pen to paper and commit it to the Lord and say, God, with your help, I'm going to do these things. I'm going to grow and become the Christian that you want me to be. I'm so glad you've watched today. And again, don't forget about this new series coming up starting this Sunday called God's Great Christmas Gifts. And it's, it's right here at Summit Church, Castle Rock, Colorado, 10.30 a.m. at Castleview High School Auditorium. I want you to see this quick promo about what this whole series is about. Check it out. God's great Christmas gifts starting this coming Sunday and throughout the month of December at Summit Church of Castle Rock. Join us for the series and make Christmas a part. Make church, make church attendance and worship weekly with your family a part of what you give back to the Lord this Christmas season. I'm so glad you joined me here today. I want to encourage you. This is episode 25 of the Wayne Feeds daily podcast. We're working on trying to get all the all the nuts and bolts of it to work the way it's supposed to. That would be a cultural commentary show, a, a Christian development show, uh, interviews at times. If you want to be interviewed on the show, if you would like to sponsor the podcast, we only have five episodes left before we move towards full-on sponsorship. And so we've been trying to build an audience. So if you'll help me with this, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or support the ministry in some kind of way, you can go to mysummitchurch.com or go to Summit Church of Castle Rock on Facebook and just click the donate button. Even two or three bucks could really help the podcast quite a bit. Like it, share it. Um, if you know someone who's discouraged, going through a tough time in the Christmas season, you take the link and put it in an email and say, hey, this is my pastor or this is my old youth pastor. This is a friend of mine. I hope this this was a blessing to you today. We look forward to connecting with you online. And if you here, live here in Castle Rock, we look forward to seeing at church this coming Sunday. Merry Christmas, everybody, and we'll see you real soon.